Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how you can uh, show a pressed key and make your program work like using the keys that the user pressed. It's really simple. I'm just gonna show you how it works. So new project. Um, it's on Visual Basic. So name project whatever you have named it. So the first thing you have to do is double click on the form so it's going to take you to the coding page and now it's going to be an option where it's going to be selected load so you're going to be changing that to key press and you see that another code gets generated you can do this one it's up to you but it's, it's no harm if it stays there so the code is like if a bracket dot key character more than one I'm gonna explain what I'm typing okay so um this when I select it key press every time the program loads it's gonna check whether the value of a key press is more than one normally if you don't press anything it's gonna be zero so when you press something it gets to one so when it's more than one then I'm gonna sh make an option so that it's gonna show what the user pressed so you have pressed and the key that they pressed so key dot Oh, I forgot that you gotta add something called C A S C, and it's something that goes with the key character thing. So basically, just you have to know that this will check whether it's more than one, and it's more than one when something is pressed, and then this gets showed. Yeah. So that's debug, and let me say I'm gonna press G, and this is G. D it even works with capital letters so yeah you might think why would you ever need this in your software but actually no one wants them in a MSG box so I'm gonna add a label as name is label one change the output diff so that it shows the key differently wants to e dot character so whenever I press G it changes so whatever I press the label changes to that still it's not that useful but it's only gonna be use, gonna be useful when you assign different codes to different letters so whenever the user presses E it's gonna exit or something so let's add that option I'm gonna add a timer so that every time it takes the timer it's gonna say if label one dot text equals to e then me dot so, okay so whenever I press e oh sorry I need to enable this timer so whenever I press E it's gonna close so yeah it's really simple like that you can uh, add different up uh, comments to different tricks and thanks a lot for watching I'm sorry that my voice isn't like you the like usual because I'm kind of sick so my voice is kind of kind of weird so if I like if you did hope this helped you in any way